Hello guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another Unity C Sharp Idle Game Tour video. This is episode 40. Okay, so today we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be messing with our game speed. So what I plan on doing is having a current ad system and make it so that when we watch an ad, um, we can uh, add like an hour of two times game speed or something like that, okay? <clears throat> and yeah, I think we're going to do that. And I think the only way we're going to be able to test this in here is by having a button that calls it automatically because there's i mean i can't watch ads here because i want to get to the building part later on okay so let's just start with our ui also if you enjoyed this video and you learned something make sure you smash the like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on those notifications check out my other videos in the right corner up there and comment your feedback and anything below and also check out my patreon if you want to support me in the description below remember we're two away from antimatter, antimatter dimensions. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing this in our main screen here. I'm gonna uh, kind of adjust some things now. Again, our UI is not very good in this game. I'm gonna be completely honest; it's everywhere. But I'm just making things add on to each other because I think that's what's really important is getting the core, or not the core, but like the stuff that we need done in there. Okay. So here, I'm going to have a button. Again, I could just add another button or a pop-up or something. But I'm just going to put it in my main screen. And what we can do here is have one of those uh, watch ad. Okay, so I have my user interface. So I have my watch ad button. I have my uh, game speed timer. And I have my progress bar for that. Um, you know what? We actually don't need this progress bar. I just realized that. It can just be this, and then that. This will be our button, I guess. Okay, we can make this smaller too. Let's see, sliced. Ah, oh, we don't have it sliced. Okay, yeah, this is just gonna be my pause button, okay? So, this is located in the main screen. You can put it wherever you want. You can manage it however, however you want. You can have it be a pop-up on the side, a little widget, or whatever you want. So let's get to the coding. So I'm gonna do this in my mat or my ad manager. Sorry, I cannot talk. I'm really tired. Um, oh, what's this reward pop up? What is this? Thing? What is this guy doing here? Um, reward ad. Is this it? Oh yeah. Okay. So let's head to our ad manager. And I see the reason why I don't get any errors is because I turned off my ad manager. No wonder why. Okay, we're in our ad manager right now. And this button right here is going to be a, another watch ad, right? Except we're going to do... Wow, this is so incredibly laggy. Okay. We're going to create another watch ad. You know what? Let's have an int ID. We want to determine which um, which ad we're watching, okay? So we're gonna add a public int called ad type, okay? And we wanna set our ad type in here once it's loaded because we wanna show the ad and then we're gonna assign the ad type to this ID here, okay? And this, this reward pop-up here is gonna be based on our ad type because we, we're gonna have another one, I believe. Yeah, okay, I see here. Um, okay, so let's have a switch statement here in case you want to add more. And in here will be switch add type. Okay, so basically the not like the 100 coins one that I the one that's in the top header is going to be zero. Okay, so that's just going to show this normally. And then we're going to break that. And then our case zero or our case one is going to be a. Uh, it can show up something else, but it's going to give us our, uh, let's see, what can I do here? Handle user earned reward. Okay. We're going to do the pop-up stuff later or actually, yeah, we're going to do that later. We should be doing the reward stuff. Okay. So now in our handle user earned reward, we're going to determine this world, a reward based on what our ad type is. Okay. And again, just like this uh, switch case statement here, zero is going to be the coins one, and one is going to be the 
is going to be the game speed, okay? So we need a variable for this. So we're gonna go to our player data class or wherever you store your data, okay? And I don't have a, I don't have a region for this. So I'm just gonna create one. It's gonna be like add related or something like that. Okay, and this is going to be a, a double. Now I would use floats, but there's I've been I don't know why, but I've been having some random issue with my timers for floats that are like past three days or something like that. I mean, unrealistically, you probably won't get it that long, but just to be safe, I would use a double. Cause for some reason, floats don't work at some point. Um, but we're gonna call this uh, game speed timer, or yeah, game speed two times timer. Okay, and in here, in our public player data, we're gonna add this to the very bottom, except we're gonna set play, uh, game speed two times timer equal to zero. Cool. So now in our ad manager, we're going to set game.data dot game speed timer plus equals one hour, which is uh, 3,600 seconds. Okay, and also I'm gonna create a data variable. Uh, var data equals game dot data to get rid of this game dot right here. Okay, so now we will get our i or our hour reward. Okay, and uh, let's see where is this pop up here? I want to create another one. Uh, we're gonna call this reward game speed pop-up okay we're gonna set it to false at the beginning and in our close app reward we're gonna set this to false as well also you see how we set this to true in here we need to do the same thing in here okay So we set these to false, I mean to true, and then we set them to false in the close method, okay? So we have a reward done. We need to actually get the the timer going, okay? So I'm just going to handle it in here because I think we have a user or an update. Yeah, we do. So we're just going to handle it in here. So basically, if uh, I'm just going to create var data equals game.data. Okay, so if data dot game speed timer is greater than zero, we also need a pause state for this too. So in our player data manager, we're gonna add another bool called public um, game speed pause or active or something like that. Active, and we're gonna set this to true automatically. Okay. So if the timer is greater than zero and our game speed active is true, then we are going to uh, subtract data dot game speed two times timer by time dot delta time times one or in parentheses one divided by time dot time scale. Now, time scale is what we use to adjust the game speed, right? And the reason why we want to multiply this is because if our game is going two, by two times faster, then time dot delta time is going to run two times faster as well. So our timer is going to run or is going to burn down faster than it should. So doing this, for example, uh, let's say it's going one per second, and we do one divided by game speed two. So you see how it's half now, right? But this is technically two because the game speed is uh, two, right? So it's always gonna be one no matter what. So that's the nice thing about this right here. Okay, and we also wanna set this time scale to two. Okay, so now the game should be running two times faster. Your coins per second will be, well, it, yeah, pretty much is two times per second, or two times faster, yeah. Okay, else, um else time dot time scale is equal to one. I think that's it.
Okay, and now I'm gonna add a, another method. Toggle game speed. Okay, so again, like in here, I'm just gonna take this. Okay, so if the time, oh, we're only gonna do this if the timer is uh, greater than zero. Okay, so var data equals game dot data. If data dot game speed two times timer is greater than zero, then we are going to set this pause or this active bool equal to the opposite of its current state. Okay, so now it will just switch between and yeah, so the timer won't drain if this is false. Cool, this should be good to go. We just need to get our user interface done. So let's add a text public text game speed two times timer text. Okay, and and let's just throw this in here. I don't think we have navigation in here. No, so we can do add a if statement called game dot. Um, oh, what's our group name? main menu group. Okay. So we're going to do game dot main menu group dot game object dot active self. Now we only want this timer to keep uh, updating if we're on this page right now. Okay. And this is going to be equal to dollar sign. So we can put variables in here. Two times game speed. And then a colon. And then we're going to have our timer here, which we need to do that. And now we calculate this timer, and I'm going to calculate this inside the same method too, because otherwise it's just pointless calculation. Uh, we're going to call var game speed timer formatted. Okay, and now this is going to equal time span dot from seconds. And then here we're going to put our data dot game speed two times timer. So now we convert this into a time span from seconds. Okay, and then in here, so basically we convert seconds into a a date or not a date time, but like a time span. So like we can see days, minutes, hours, seconds within how many seconds. So it's kind of like a conversion. Okay, so then in here we put throw it in here, and we're gonna format it as d for day double slash double backslash colon hour hour for, or hh for hour double backslash colon minutes and seconds okay so now this should automatically format it to zero 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 colon zero 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 sorry too many zeros zero colon zero zero colon zero zero colon zero zero just like this no matter what okay cool so now we have our user interface done Okay, I think that's all we need to do. And our reward pop-up, we will create that too, because I haven't made that yet. Okay, so we're gonna have to replace a few things here. So our reward had our reward ad here, our close button. Um oh we don't need to do that. Yeah, because we're it's based on our current ad type. Oh, one thing before I forget, we wanna reset this ad type back to zero after we're done watching this ad or after we close the ad okay so we don't need to do it here but we need to do it in one so we're gonna reset this back to zero okay in close ad reward method and then in here we need to we need to change our watch um, our watch ad buttons so that's this one right here and the one in the header so that's these two right here Okay, so now this is going to say missing ad manager dot watch ad. So you just need to replace that with watch ad int. Okay. And this is going to be set to zero. And the parameter for this one right here is going to be set to one. Perfect. And our pause button here, we need to add another button component. And click the plus, drag our ad manager. Go to ad manager and um, I think this is just toggle game speed. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go to our ad manager and 
dragging our new UI. Oh, you still have to create this reward ad. Or the game speed one. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. It's pretty basic. Rewarded ad game speed. Okay, and all you need to do here, since we're using the same close ad reward text, and honestly, I could just simplify this. Okay, so yeah, let's simplify it, close ad reward. All you need to do is this, okay? We can just close both of them. Like, honestly, it's not going to make any CPU performance. It's just going to make our code a little shorter. Okay, so nothing huge here. And it's going to say, thanks for watching the ad. You get plus one hour of two times game speed. Something like that. Okay. And we can turn that off. Save it. And now we can't really test it. So I want to test the pause and I can just give myself some time. So let's play it. Uh, no, we need to drag our stuff first. So our game speed pop up and our timer text, which is right here. Okay, now save it, press play. Alrighty, so now it's set to zero. This is our default, as I mentioned before, just like we did here. And if we click the watch ad, uh, it's gonna say no reference because, um, see, rewarded ad has not been uh, initialized because, um, uh, well, what am I, what am I trying to say? It's because of this right here. Now we can initialize rewarded ad if it doesn't exist because of no, no, right here. See how we do mobile ads on initialize, and then we also, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now we don't have a rewarded ad. Okay. It doesn't exist. And when we create and load rewarded ad, we do that here. Okay. Let's see. Do we even load an ad? No, we don't. So what we're going to do here, we're going to bring, I think I forgot this. No wonder why people were getting errors. Okay. So copy and paste this create and load rewarded ad and move it to here. Okay, move it to the end of your start method. Okay, Cause I, I forgot because I'm stupid. So now you shouldn't get that initialized error anymore, but it also doesn't matter because um, we're not going to get any ads anyways. So yeah, this is how we initialize it right here, which I've talked about in the ad video itself. Okay, so now let's actually, let's actually test this because we don't need to worry about this. And honestly, what we can do here is that we hide this watch ad button, right? Okay, so I'll, I'll do the same thing for this whole interface here, unless you have some other way of hiding this. But otherwise, I'm just going to hide all of maybe this button. I don't know. It's up to you. Okay, or I might even not do it. I might, blah. I'm probably not even going to do anything with this anyways, because that's totally up to you what you want to do with it. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to our, I think it's our game manager. Yeah, and see, we have our timer here. So let's just drag this. See, we're dragging the timer. It works perfectly. So right now, there we go. Now it's running. So the game should be running two times faster. So let's set this. So we should be getting six E4 per second. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell at first, but another good way to see is this right here. Our buy mode. Why is our buy mode? Oh, there we go. Is to watch this progress bar. See how it's like reacting much faster than it would here. See, it goes down quite fast. Now let's set this to zero. So there is no more. See, it's uh, it's kind of hard to see without having like an animation playing. Uh, okay. So let's see. Watch this. See how fast it fills up if I add a timer. So you see, it's a little, it's a little different. Again, it's two times faster. It depends how you visually see it, but it's there. It's working. So we can pause it by just clicking this button here. And now uh, when this is paused, let's replace this text with something. Okay, so let's let's grab this right here. This data.game speed active. And what we'll do inside this text, we will set um if this is false, question mark. So if it's not active. That we're gonna uh, we're gonna put two times game speed 
paused. Okay, something like that. And then another colon. And if it's active, then we're going to display the time here. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick. There we go. Let's just add this. There we go. Paused. Yeah, like that. See now, the timer isn't running because it's paused. And we will have our normal game speed. But once we unpause it, there we go. It speeds up. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And turn on those notifications so you get notified for every single video. Every single awesome video. Comment your feedback, bugs, anything, questions. All you got. Just spam the comments. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything else to say? Oh, yeah. Patreon. We are still two away. So that, unfortunately, I had one person um, unfollow. And I got one more new person. So I'd like to shout out a few people from my Patreons. I don't want to say their last names because I because they haven't like told me I can't do this. So I'm just going to say the first names. But Andrew, Nathan, and Cameron, they, those are my three Patreons. If you're interested, the link's in the description. We are two away from getting the Antimatter Dimension series. And I'm pretty hyped about that. So anyways, check that out. Also, check out my other videos in the top right corner. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you later.